Hi everyone and uh, welcome to life cycle of the day. So all of you know 8.15 p.m. we are discussing life cycles nowadays and uh, in the life cycles we are currently on the nematodes. If you've missed out on this series let me tell you the trematodes and the cystodes have already been covered. They're available on the YouTube channel. We are currently on the nematodes in which we finished Trichuris tricura and Enterobius vermicularis. Today we are going to start with the next nematode. All of these sessions that I'm talking about are available under a separate playlist on the Unacademy YouTube channel. The name of the playlist is Life Cycles by my name and you can find each and every life cycle that we are doing on a daily basis under that playlist. Also before I begin the session let me quickly brief you. I hope all of you are following the kickstart morning sessions that are being conducted on the app on a daily basis and what's the timing? These are free sessions which are open for everyone to uh, join in at 7.45 a.m. each day. So yes, there's been a long series and a journey of 70 classes conducted. Tomorrow morning 7.45, we'll have the 71st session that is the image-based questions. It's a very short session of 40 minutes that we have each morning and in 40 minutes we discuss one particular topic, the most important MCQs and the images of that topic are discussed. So if you've not been a part of this series, try joining morning 7.45 and uh, it's certainly the concept is to give you a boost to the morning so that you get going for the rest of the day. Well, having said that, let's begin with first the life cycle. So first and foremost, the life cycle of the day is Ascaris, that is roundworm. Now you can see that I always tell you try to pick up the host which is the first thing that you must do and the host out here is human. So let me begin the life cycle from there itself. The host over here is the humans. And you can see a human being over here. So first thing you'll want to ask me, how do we get the infection? We get the infection by the ingestion of embryonated eggs. By the ingestion of embryonated eggs, we get the infection. Once the embryonated egg has entered into our body, it is going to then obviously form, it's an egg, right? It's an egg, which is an embryonated egg. When I mean embryonated egg, it has a larva inside it, correct? So once this is ingested, in the intestine, the small intestine, the larva is going to hatch out. In the small intestine, the larva is going to hatch out. And what is going to form from the larva? In the small intestine, adults are formed. Okay. Uh, now, there is uh, one catch to the question that is there. Uh, these larva can also penetrate and through the circulation go into the lungs. So, imagine the larva can go into the lungs they are obviously lung involvement means sputum production. It will be cuffed up. If the sputum is cuffed up, there are chances that the sputum can be swallowed. And on swallowing again, it can reach the small intestine. In the small intestine, again, the maturation will occur and these adult male and female worms will form. So the main question that comes is, is there a pulmonary stage involved? Yes. And where are the adults residing? small intestine. So now when the adults will fertilize, obviously they will give rise to eggs. So what are the things that can be passed into the feces? In the feces, we can have a patient passing fertilized egg and unfertilized egg. Now an unfertilized egg will not undergo further development. This fertilized egg can further undergo development by multiple divisions. You can see the egg is undergoing development with multiple divisions. And finally, it will get a larva inside it. There will be embryonated larva inside the egg. And these embryonated eggs are what we are going to consume. So let me give you a quick recap. First and foremost, humans were the only host. What are we ingesting? The embryonated eggs. What do the embryonated eggs contain? They contain the larva, right? Right? Once they go in the intestine, either they'll hatch over there and the adults will form or they will, these larvae, these larvae will enter the circulation, go into the lungs. In the lungs, they will be cuffed up, they will be swallowed, again coming to the small intestine, then they will again develop the worms. These worms will fertilize, they will lay down the eggs, fertilized and unfertilized eggs. The unfertilized eggs will not undergo further development, but the fertilized eggs are now going to go and undergo further development to form a larva. So I call them the embryonated eggs. And these embryonated eggs are the ones which we are going to consume. That finishes off the life cycle for us, but why not have a look at the eggs as well? 
Well, this one is the fertilized egg. This one is the unfertilized egg. What are the points of differentiation that I can notice? Number one, in the fertilized egg, I see a thick albumin coat. In the fertilized egg, I see a thick albumin coat. Whereas in the unfertilized egg, I see there's a very thin coat that is present. Second, uh, the fertilized egg seems to be a more round to oval egg. The unfertilized egg seems to be more elongated. And third, in the fertilized egg, I see that there are two crescentric spaces that are present out here. Two crescentric spaces that I see. Now, if you see the life cycle, I had drawn exactly the same two eggs. Can you see this is the fertilized egg which has the two crescentric spaces and a thick coat, whereas this is the non-fertilized egg. If they ask you what's the difference in their flotation, then the fertilized egg will float on a saturated salt solution, whereas an unfertilized egg will not float on saturated salt solution. So fertilized will float and unfertilized will not float. If you've understood this, why not quickly solve a question? Here's the question. You have a person who presents to the physician complaining of chronic GI symptoms. A diagnosis of Ascaris lumbricoids is made, given in front of you. Human nematodes infect individuals via different route. This patient was infected by which route? So you should know what is the infective form in Ascaris, that is the roundworm, and that is the larvated eggs, that is the larvated eggs, embryonated eggs. Let's pick up another question. A child is brought to you because of peripheral itching. So no bias, guys. A child is brought to you with peripheral itching, which is very disturbing and is disturbing the child's sleep. So when you try to find out what type of itching is there, what type of itching are they complaining, they say it is particularly in the perianal region. Fine. You instruct the parents to uh, place a transparent tape in the perianal region. The next morning, they return that to you. And now when you see the tape on a microscopic slide on a low power examination, you see that there are oval eggs which are flattened on one side. They are oval on the other and they are flattened on one. What is the most likely cause, guys? Perianal intense itching with a tape method for collection of eggs. And the eggs are plano convex. I hope everyone could identify. This was a test that I took from the previous life cycle. Previous life cycle was of enterobius vermicularis and this was just to know whether you still remember that. Well, with that, this very short session comes to an end. Roundworm is done. Escaris. Every day we'll do one more news life cycle of the nematodes. At the end, we'll do an entire summary of all the nematodes. Thank you for joining in. But before I end, all the students who are new to the platform, let me orient you to the Plus subscription. This is a subscription which is a paid one, which gives you many different options of joining on monthly, uh, three monthly, six monthly or an annual basis. And after the subscription, you get access to all the classes, tests, uh, unlimited courses, structured courses and everything that is there on the platform form is made available following the plus subscription if you go in for the iconic subscription then along with an academy you get an access to all of prep ladder lectures also so these are the two subscriptions that you have one is the plus one is the iconic obviously depending on which suits you better the timing the pattern you can obviously go in for either of these well that's it from my side guys thank you for joining in hoping to see you all tomorrow morning on the app at 7 45 for a quick discussion of five image based questions so that uh, we are one step closer to cracking the exam. Thank you for joining in and have a great day.